Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're taking a look at another fairly new foundation. This came out, I guess, about a month ago, and I passed on it because it's very hard for me to find a good color in this brand. But somebody asked me when I did the Clinique review the other day about it, and I said, you know what, I have to try these on in person because I have something from Shiseido. This is silk and it looks gray on me. I don't know why I got this color, but I do remember when I first started getting into this foundation, I got several samples. It was way before the lockdowns, and I couldn't find something that worked for me. And I ended up doing this. I returned it because it was gray. And then I'm like, I love it so much, but I can't go now because now we're in the lockdown. So I'm just going to order the same one. I think I can make it work. No, I can't. I cannot make it work. So when somebody asked me about the new one, which is called Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation, I said, I don't think so. The bottles are exactly the same, except that this is not frosted. I, you know, frosted stuff, you really can't tell. The colors look very similar, but hard to tell. I got it in cashmere. So first, you're going to get a little bit of a swatch if you are also having a problem finding a match. And this one is, of course, they're not dried down. We'll come back, but this one is silk. And this one is cashmere. So silk is a uh, pink based and cashmere is neutral. They look pretty similar to me, but we'll come back after they dry down. I have done everything. I've moisturized, hydrated, put on my sunscreen. I'm kind of red today and I'm not 100% sure why. I did do microneedling four days ago or so, but this is not redness from microneedling. This is overall redness. It's very, very windy here, so it could be just dust and, you know, I live in a hillside. <laughs> it could be anything just kind of getting in my skin. I'm not sure. Last night, I was so tired. I washed my face and I just put on a um, cream that I've never tried before. I got a sample of and I didn't do anything else. I didn't do my hydrators. I didn't do my coenzyme Q10, my niacinamide, my retinol, nothing. So I can't explain this, but let's see if this will take care of it. I'm going to tell you a teeny bit about it and then we'll get more into it. It is a luminous foundation that hydrates for up to 24 hours and adapts to your skin for medium to full coverage with a radiant finish. Uh, coverage medium, finish radiant, light adjusting technology visibly lifts, refines, and smooths for a luminous looking finish. Radiant micro crystals correct the look of shadows created by fine lines and wrinkles so that skin appears smoother and firmer. So this is a sleight of hand kind of a thing. Transparent, luminous pearl visually counteracts hyperpigmentation by creating an even canvas to optionally reflect light. We shall see. Interestingly enough, I guess we're getting into the details now, the first ingredient on this is octanoxate. The second is titanium dioxide. So don't get your sunscreen from your foundation. I think we've spoken about this before. You need to have, there's a mathematical thing, and I can't remember what it is, but basically it is a quarter teaspoon of sunscreen in order to get the SPF that's listed on here. No one wears a quarter teaspoon of foundation. So this is a topper. It's not where you go to get your sunscreen coverage. Okay, now let's try it on. And usually you start with the center because most people are reddest at the center. <laughs> Today I'm red everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. And if you missed my last video, my neighbor has moved out because they have three months worth of construction going on and it's Saturday. So, God, I hope I'm going to have a day off from the noise tomorrow, but I do think construction in residential areas on a Saturday is really messed up. So far, the foundation color is not as bad as 
the silk color, but it doesn't matter that I'm so much more red than I usually am today. I don't know. Does it kind of go with my skin tone? So there's a little square right here where I'm not red. Hello. <laughs> It's still not right, I have to say. Now, the finish on this for me will very likely be a different finish than it will be on you, unless you also start pretty shiny. My skin type is mature. And I'm verging on dry, but I'm not quite dry. And before I do my makeup, I do several essences and two moisturizers and a sunscreen. So my first moisturizer is really really light because I prefer instead of going on with something thick I prefer to have thin layers I think your skin can better absorb them and then my second one is also kind of light and then I go on with my sunscreen. I'm just taking a dry beauty lander So I do wonder, am I, what is that? Did we get to the point of terminal velocity when it comes to shine? <laughs> In other words, do I come to the table so shiny that it doesn't matter how shiny my foundation is that we've hit the plateau of shininess? That I can't say, because I was afraid I would look like I just put water on my face, but I don't feel like I do. I do feel like I need to bring this down my neck, though. I just want to really get an idea of this color and whether I need to take it back and try another color. I'm going to get this wet, and I'll be right back. You know, I'll just pull up the excess under the eyes before I go in with concealer, but I don't know that I actually needed to use the Beauty Blender. I think I did a good blend with my fingers, which is my preference, and I have to tell you something. The skin looks really, really pretty. Really pretty. So let's go on to concealer. I'm going to try this again. This is in the color Alabaster, and it's from Clinique, and it's kind of light, but let's see. Just a dab on each one, and because it's a little thick, I like to use this with the Beauty Blender instead of a brush. And I kind of want to give this a wear test, but usually my light is just awful, and I'm starting late because of the construction next door. I was hoping I might, you know, run into their lunch hour. So I might come back tomorrow and just let you know what my thoughts were on this for the wear. I'm going to pull in close so you can see what's going on. I, I think I might have a little more coverage under this eye than this eye, but ooh, whatever. I think the skin looks pretty. The color, not bad. Not fantastic either. When I swatched these together the other day, I thought they look the same to me. So again, this is silk, this is cashmere. I Do you see a difference? Now this is still shiny and that can change how your eye views things, but I swear this seems darker to me. My god, I think the skin looks so, so pretty. I think it looks so pretty. So... It's really going to be about the color and how it wears and how it works with other products. Well, let's dip into a Shiseido products. This is their Whipped Blush. I forget what it's called. And I'm just going to pick some up on my fingers. Usually I spread it out on my hand and then pick it up, but I can't right now because my hands have other stuff on them. So I'm just going to go in so gently and just spread it with the finger like this. Super, super windy. So you might be hearing that wind in the background. I find the sound of the wind going through the trees to be as relaxing as the sound of the ocean. And maybe a little more relaxing, really. 
because the sound of the ocean can go into the background because it's very it, rhythmic. You know what I mean? Tides have rhythms to them. Where wind, the rhythm is changed by the hills, the trees, the things that are stopping it. So it's not necessarily as rhythmic. So that makes it a little bit more relaxing to me. Beautiful. Now that makes sense because Shiseido product on Shiseido product. This is a Surat beautiful, beautiful palette and I am going to mix, I think these two, and see what happens. Wow, my skin looks so, so good. I think that's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, no problem with the powder products. And that's going to do it, I think. We did a powder. We did a cream-ish whipped moussey thing. Both went on beautifully. And I just, I kind of don't feel like doing anything else. I think the skin looks so, so pretty. And the great thing about doing something glowy like this is I, I don't need a highlight. I mean, never do, really. And let's look one more time. This still has not dried down, so I'm going to help it along by just rubbing it in. And I just kind of reactivated them so they're a little bit lighter. But this one, again, is called Silk, and this is called Cashmere. And I swear to you, <laughs> they look really similar. Really, really similar. And the Silk is supposed to be medium, where the Cashmere is light medium. So the Cashmere should be both lighter and different in undertone. And it, it doesn't seem like it is to me. Uh, maybe at the teeniest bit, but it depends on how the light is hitting it. So I'm just going to kind of move it around and you can see what is going on here. And I think I am going to come back and just let you know how or if my light happens to be great, then I'll show you what's going on. So next time you see me, I'll have some more news. All right, you guys, so I did not come back, but I'm back now, and I have worn this about five times. It's it's seven days later, it's six days later, almost a week after this video was initially shot, and the construction is still going on. It was quiet for a minute, and now it's going on. So here are my conclusions. I've had plenty of time to work with this. This is long wear glowy, and... After I took it off the first time when I shot this, my skin was really red. I thought, oh, that's interesting. I put it on the next day. I had the same experience. I'm like, oh, this reminds me of the Chanel Le Beige, also glowy, also long wear. So I broke out the ingredients list on both of them. And there are similarities, but it's not exactly the same. And there were things in the Chanel that were not in this. So that's pretty hard to pinpoint. So I decided to give myself a day off. And I went in with my Reboot, which I adore. And then I went back and I did this and there was no problem. So I did do microneedling the, about four or five days before I used this for the first time. So it just could have been sensitivity from that. But when I took a break with this and then went back to that, I've worn this three days now and I did not have the red face when I took it off. So there's nothing in here that is bothering or irritating my skin. Let's talk about the finish. The finish to me is very similar to the finish you get from this, but this doesn't have as much coverage as this. And I don't feel that this builds well. So you can take a mini beauty blender and build in the areas where you have darkness, but it just looks like you didn't blend your foundation well. Because it's like sheer coverage, sheer coverage, sheer coverage. Ooh, a whole lot of coverage. Like, it doesn't look great when you do that. This has very, very nice coverage. The thing is, when you have something that has very good coverage, it's got to match you very nicely. So I did hand-to-hand -hand swatches between these, which you saw in the first part of the video, and I just couldn't figure out what was going on. Now, part of the reason I haven't been wearing this as much lately is I feel like the color is not good for me right now. And there is a slightly grayishness to this, even though this is a Y color. This is Y315, and this is cashmere. So I feel that 
the finishes are the same. However, oddly enough, I feel like this doesn't have the same finish after about eight hours of wear, where this has the same finish throughout. I've noticed that by eight hours, nine hours, I have coverage still, but I don't have the same finish. I will say though, every time I put this on, I have gone out to run errands and I have worn a mask. And I've noticed the forehead still has the same finish, but down here, it doesn't. So if you like a glowy, glowy finish, and you don't start like I do, very shiny, after putting on a mask, you might find the glow's still here after eight hours or so, but it's not down here. But that's just my experience, just letting you know what's going on. Today, I am actually wearing this say, right here, right here, right here, and right above the lip. And I'm wearing some Surat blushes. Surat? No, Suku blushes. But that's all I have on my face right now. And I feel that, even though this is a neutral, that there is gray going on on my face. I do. I pulled it down my neck a little bit because I do have redness in my neck. But when I look at my ear, when I'm putting this on, I'm seeing such a big, big, big difference. Now, obviously, look, I'm quite fair at my fairest points. Areas of my neck, of course, my ears. I'm not looking to have my skin on my face look like this, but I, I think you can see I'm kind of neutral. I do have a little bit of warmth, and this is supposed to be neutral, but I feel there's a little bit of gray. So I feel like I might want to get another color in this, not neutral. Something else I noticed when I first put it on, I'm like, oh shit, man, this is looking gray. And then as it settled in, the grayness didn't show as much. It could be the skin kind of coming through. It could be melding in a little bit so the pigments are settling into the skin and leveling out a little bit. I don't know why. Uh, so it does change a little bit, but that just could be normal drawing down. I do like it. I have worn it a lot. The reason I like it the most is because it's better coverage than almost anything else that I have. And I just need to have that sometimes. Now, the Bite also has very nice coverage for me. And I would say the coverage is kind of similar. And I'd say the finish actually isn't that different either. But there's not a lot of colors in here. Luckily, the colors work for me, maybe because it's a Canadian company. <laughs> and, you know, the girls are fair in Canada land because they don't get as much sun as we do. I don't know, but I find that the undertone for Bite works better for me. And if you haven't been able to find an undertone for the Shiseido that works for you, maybe look at the bite. If you'd like me to do a head-to-head -head with these two, I will. I'll do half the face one and half the face the other, and we'll take a look. They don't feel the same. The experience of putting them on isn't the same, but I think the finish is the same, and I think the coverage is about the same. And this is, this is less, for sure. And that's it, you guys. I'm a fan. I am a fan. I do think I'm going to buy another color next week when that little short little sale thing happens. And I'll do some more swatches for you. So I'll swatch this with the silk and the other color I get, which I think I'm not going to do a neutral. The silk is pink. This is neutral. I'm going to go for a yellow. It scares me. Don't hold me to that. But that is it, you guys. So this is how it looks what I think, what my experience is. It hasn't irritated me, it hasn't bothered me, it's given me much joy, and I have looked forward to putting it on every single day because I'm really red these days. Shiseido, synchro skin, lifting, glowy, something or other. I hope it was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.